So what is up pimps, hoes, and buffaloes? We are back today with another dual commentary, and I've got a special guest with me today, all the way from the United States, all the way from across the pond, and we have Perky with us today. So without any further ado, I'm going to let Perky introduce himself. How's it going, buddy? It's going quite well, Buffalo. I run myself a little Call of Duty channel as well. If you guys don't know who I am, you should check me out. Uh, that being said, hop on over back to Buffalo. I want to hear what he has to say about our topic today. Okay, so what's going to happen is Perky is known for his live streaming. A lot of his subscribers have come over from his MW3 live streams, and he really does seem to have the ticket in terms of producing a real high-quality live stream. So I thought, who better to explain the art of live streaming than the man himself? And then, of course, we can look at the differences between live streaming and commentary. So, you know, I really want to know, how have you managed to build such a successful live stream? How's it happened? Honestly, just pure luck. <laughs> It all started off just like eight people watching me at once or something, and it was just like friends of mine. As I kind of started growing, you know, more and more followers as uh, every time I stream, uh, just more people started coming back or whatever. And then <laughs> one of my friends, XYZ25Games, who I know you've heard about because you've seen my videos, I got all these custom camos straight from him. And to be honest, what really set it off was the pink ACR, because people see this in the thumbnails, because I don't know how Twitch works, but I think it takes like a random picture from the game, and it uses that as a thumbnail for your channel. And people are scrolling down the list on Twitch, and they're like, what the hell, this guy has a pink gun? I better check this out. And then for whatever reason they stay, whether it be my personality, my gameplay, both, or, you know, just because they're really that bored. But, uh, yeah, for whatever reason, they stick around. So it's really the, the, the custom camos that are drawing them in for me. So that's kind of worked out in my favor. Yeah, regardless of how they've actually come and managed to stay, I find it really interesting how it is such a small thing like a camo. I know I know it's awesome, I find it awesome, but it's amazing how something that we really overlook in terms of a game component, like a camouflage on your gun, that has actually made you, you know, the way you are today. And how many was it you got in this live stream last Friday? You said some ridiculously big number. What was it? 184, which is a hell of a record for me. I, I know that you have been in several of my live streams, you've seen what's going on. You know, I tend to average around like 60 or so, and then my, my previous record was 119, and then, you know, like I said, Friday, 184 people were watching me at once, which is absolutely awesome. Absolutely That's amazing. Awesome. I mean, if I was ever to get a live stream with that many people, then I'd probably just have to end the stream out of sheer shock <laughs> of getting that many people in. But, you know, I was just thinking, how is live streaming different to commentary. So I know with a commentary you have to like think of a topic, you set it up, you know exactly what you're going to talk about, but in terms of live streaming, and you know me and you both do this when we live stream, we both interact with the stream, and you know sometimes especially for me it really interferes with my gameplay, it means I'm spending too much time looking down the stream and then thinking oh shit, I've just gone died. But <laughs> how do you get the balance and how, how do you sort of fit the spontaneity in and manage to do well at the same time? Uh, a lot of luck. I mean, sometimes it happens a lot where I'll just get shot randomly, like you said. You know, because I know I watch your streams and you do pretty much the same thing I do. We, we both interact uh, pretty well with the stream. So I'll be like staring at my second monitor or whatever, you know, assuming that I have it set up for the day. And I'm just going to get shot in the back. So it's kind of just one of those things where sometimes I'll get lucky and my specialist streaks won't end. And then, you know, people see a Moab or whatever. And then there'll be happy with that the custom camels just keep drawing them in more and more and then some of them will stick around and eventually you know the more numbers you get the higher up in the list on twitch you are so it just kind of yeah that's another thing i mean the thing the whole thing about people seeing your stream i don't really understand how twitch tv works i mean i'm quite new to streaming as well and i was just wondering if you maybe be able to help me out and some of the other people that may not know how it works with live streaming how you actually get it all set up on twitch tv and stuff so have you got any tips of how to build a successful live stream for people perhaps watching this video um, well, first of all, you're going to have to, you know, know your own um, settings for XSplit or whatever. I do use XSplit. I know there are some other programs, but XSplit is the only one I know of. And uh, you'll need a pretty decent internet connection to get a good quality stream going. But, because uh, people aren't really going to watch it too well if it's just looking at, you know, eight pixels on a screen. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you do have to have some sort of quality there. And it really comes down to energy, and a lot of people will ask, you know, am I streaming today? Are you streaming today? Blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, I just don't have the energy today, because it takes so much more energy than just a regular commentary. You know, you, you have to really do everything it takes to get your personality into this gameplay, get, like, into this commentary. And, you know, that's kind of what a live stream is about, is just being yourself and making sure people like what, uh, what you're working with. 
Yeah, I think the fact that it's done over such a sustained period of time as well, you need to keep this whole persona going for, say, I don't know how long you... What's your longest stream? Like, I know you've been going for hours and hours, and I don't really... I, I have a lot of respect <laughs> for that, because whenever I stream, I just get... As soon as I get frustrated, I can feel my head going, and then I think, shit, I better end the stream now before I do something I'm going to regret and say something to someone in the chat that's saying, oh, what are you doing bad for? What are you doing bad for? It's, it's annoying, and I end up having to end the stream. So how do you deal with people that start hating and start, you know, asking for things that you don't really want to do. How does that work out? Um, I just try to be as nice as possible because, uh, you know, a lot of lot of people online aren't exactly the nicest people. So, you know, you gotta just kind of roll with the punches as it is, you know? You just gotta, you know, people want you to snipe, for example. I, I very rarely snipe in my streams. Why? Because I'm freaking terrible at it. So, <laughs> people want to see me snipe in my streams. I'm like, I'm gonna drop 30,000 viewers or whatever. And I don't have that many, but if I did, I'd drop that many. <laughs> but I, I just can't. Well, I've, I've never been a terrible sniper, but in terms of doing it for a live stream for sniping, I see, I sort of see it as, you know, if you're, unless you're doing really, really well with a sniper, it probably is the most frustrating thing. I remember a live stream I was doing, and someone asked me to use the dragon off, and I was going like one and eight on a TDM. I mean, that was just embarrassing. I mean, I had a lot of lag back then. I used to do a live stream on like a two meg download which is just freaking stupid and ridiculous, so I don't know why I ever started doing that in the first place. But then people were saying, like, oh, you're a shit player, I'm going to leave this stream. And I was like, dude, <laughs> you're telling me to use these freaking terrible guns for your stupid entertainment. What do you expect me to do? How am I supposed to do this for like three hours straight? How can you possibly expect me to do it? I don't know. But, you know, I just got to take my hat off for the fact that you do have an amazing live stream. And if you're watching this video on my channel, I really would suggest you go and follow Perky on Twitch TV and, of course, go over to his YouTube channel as well because he does produce some real, real good quality for commentaries, including some drunk comms as well, which are definitely worth a laugh if you've had a really bad day in the office. Well, okay, then, my sexy buffaloes. Unfortunately, now we have run out of time, so I'm going to hand over to Perky. If there's any last words he'd like to say, because I'm pretty much done now. Have you got anything you want to say? I just want to say thanks so much, Herder. I do love doing this commentary with you, and I love your videos as always, so I can't wait to, to see the next one. Well, that's perfect. Sounds good to me, and the same to you, buddy. But anyway, this video is now over, so it's pretty much time to sign out. I'm gone. Peace. Catch you later.